Hey guys, check out this new toy that we got for Jonathan. It's made by Kid Tracks Mow and Go battery operated ride on toy. We got it at Walmart and it was $69 plus tax. So we're going to do a review on it today. The suggested age is 18 to 30 months, but up to 44 pounds. So Jonathan's older than 30 months, but we thought we'd try it out to see since she's under 44 pounds. And it goes one and a half miles per hour, so it's, it's a pretty slow one, but it'll be fun. It gives him the idea that he gets to use a riding mower. So, when we tried it out, we, the first thing you're supposed to do is open this up to charge it. It needed to be charged for 18 hours before use. Um, but the first thing we noticed is it's supposed to turn and pop up, but we had such a hard time, we ended up having to really push back these things up here underneath, the plastic tabs, and push it up. So I don't think that was working the way it's supposed to, as far as I'm taking the seat off to charge it. Here's what it looks like underneath. Things are here. Power adapter. I don't have fingernails, I can't do this. Here we go. Tight. Okay. Here, there's these two little grooves. And these two grooves in the back of the seat here. Go into these here. These two grooves here. Come in. There we go. There we go. Clicked it in. That's a pain. You gonna check out your mower? All right. Can you go uphill in it? Okay. Here, let's turn it around so you go yeah. downhill. Okay, now go. Uh, sure. I had it plugged in overnight. It doesn't have a button, an indicator, to show you it's on. Seriously? Yeah. There he goes, he got it. I will say it's very, very, very slow. And it won't go up a hill. Will it? Go, 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 go! Jonathan's only 32 pounds. Like 8 pounds under what the maximum weight is. Can you hop up for a second? Let's go down the sidewalk and see how well you do. Okay, there you go. Or maybe we didn't have to put the line. How long is it supposed to last, does it say? Go, go, go! Gotta put your weight down on that tire here. Let me try something. Let me try something. Okay, I'm going to push weight down now. Go. No. It ain't going to work. It's just, uh, it doesn't have any power. But it will not go up our driveway. Our driveway is pretty steep. We're trying though, isn't it? Trying to go up our driveway. And this is what it boils down to. You're pushing your riding lawnmower already, huh? Is it too small for you? Yeah. Do you like it? It's too small? Okay, well, it's too small for him. That's the case. It's cute. 
It'll probably be better for like a two-year-old. Well, there you have it. Jonathan went back inside. So it doesn't really go very fast. I think it's probably meant best for inside use and on a pavement straightaway. It's a pretty cool little vehicle though. If you push the button here, you see the leaves and the grass that they put inside that's blowing around and the back wheels move. And underneath, you can see the propellers moving. So it gives the kids a real effect if they're mowing the yard, which is really cool. Uh, we put this blue tape on there because we were making a blippy lawnmower. But I think it's perfect for kids that are not wanting to go fast or just if you're walking with your kids on a straightaway, it'd be a really good vehicle for that. Um, the tires are pretty heavy duty. Oh, and they have the grooves that are supposed to help grip. But we're in the grass, it really didn't seem to do too well in the grass. As I see, I, nobody's even sitting on it and I push it and it doesn't even really want to move. So I think it's definitely meant for younger kids, and I would definitely say under 30 pounds would probably be more accurate than their 44. Come to this little tool here if you need to tighten up the tires on each side. But it's a cute little lawnmower, and if you're looking, if your little one's looking for something fun to ride on, it's really slow, but I think they'll have a good time. Thanks for watching.